strategy is to salvage the botched first attempt at the TDI timing belt service by re-establishing baseline TDC for all the mechanicals. Have removed minimal accessories to access the timing belt again, including leaving the entire serpentine belt circuit intact, along with the motor mount and even the dreaded clamp on the intake tube above the intercooler. The idea is to pre-time the pump with the belt off. At this point, it's impossible to determine what went sideways the first time, but have a chance to rectify as the valves didn't crash into the pistons and ruin the head. To demonstrate, here's a spare Bosch VE pump, and to pre-time it as if installing new, need to positively pin the pump through the pulley flange into the hole. With the balancer and serpentine belt already on, I'm not able to pin the crank, but realize reinstalling the cam sprocket advances the crank, so set the crank back this amount to net TDC. Then similarly for the injection pump sprocket, so it sits in the nominal position after setting the tensioner and upper roller. The cam lock is a plate style, so reinstalled the vacuum pump mounting bolts with large washers to keep it in place, while verifying flywheel TDC once again. Baseline complete, and can re-tighten the camshaft and injection pump sprockets, and remove all the engine locks. Here we go mates, this is why we do it. For the passion, for the glory.